Hello everyone, I'm Brady with Lewis Motor Company and today we're taking a look at our 2011 Ford F550 fiber splicing bucket truck. It has an ETI 34 foot working height. It's got a fiber splicing lab in the back with a brand new Onan generator with under 10 hours just from what we've been using it for. Uh, so it starts right up. There's no issues with the genset. It operates all your interior lights, your plugs, your actual boom. Uh, AC unit on top, everything works as it should. It is ready to go to work. It's ready to start splicing. Um, we did a number, a number of things to this truck. It runs, drives, operates as it should. Truck itself does have some miles at 204,000, but it does drive good. It starts right up. There's no issues with it. Uh, Power Stroke 6.7 turbo diesel, automatic transmission. It is four wheel drive. We did end up painting and reconditioning this entire body rebuilt this rear platform here, painted it in a textured black color. Uh, it's ready to go. These things are extremely hard to find. Um, so we, when we found this one, it needed a little bit of work, but we realized that we could put some money into it and have a really nice product at the end of it. And that's what we have here. This thing runs, drives, operates as it should. It's been serviced up. It's been checked out by our shop. We've spent a fortune on this truck to getting it to where we feel as though it is ready to go to work. There's no known issues. You literally have to get in this thing, just turn the key and get right to work, get right to splicing and making some money. Again, these are very hard to find. If you're looking at this truck, you probably already know that. Um, but we search high and low to find trucks like these. They just don't exist. So when we found this one, it needed a little bit of work, a little bit of rebuilding. It had some rust when we got it on the body, um, but it turned out to be really a really nice truck and one uh, that operates and does everything it's supposed to do. Um, it is four wheel drive, like I said, six, seven power stroke, automatic transmission. I'm going to start it up. I'm also going to start the gen set up so you can hear that run. And then Robert's going to go ahead and get in our bucket, operate it and show you how it operates. generator just needed to be primed up a little bit which is all done remote in here so you just uh, push down to prime it uh, for a few seconds and then flip it up to start it am fm radio heat air conditioning it does have a gasoline uh, gauge there for your uh, fuel level for your generator uh, it does have a light bar uh, controls inside the cab got some strobe lights that are on top uh, work lights whatever this thing's well lit ready to go to work as far as roadside work. Does have cruise control. Uh, but as far as that goes, there's not a, a ton of options. You don't have power windows or anything like that, but you do have an AM, FM radio, heat, air conditioning, all that stuff. Uh, floor shift, four wheel drive, floors in nice condition, dashboard shows nice, seats are in great shape, and headliner looks to be pretty good. Show you the seat bottom on the driver's seat. A little bit of delamination, but no major, uh, no major tears or anything like that. Uh, so, like I said, we did a, a lot of service work to this thing, and that included uh, repairing the body. So, when we got it in, it had some rust. We cut out all the nasty stuff, and um, which is mainly off the rear bumper there. So, we rebuilt the rear bumper, uh, painted up the sides. Truck looks good. Now, it did have some rust, so. Uh, it wasn't perfect, I just wanted to uh, note that for sure. But uh, also when we got it in, it did not have, I believe the generator was actually missing. So we put a new generator, it's got like less than 10 hours. We've used it a little bit around here uh, just to make sure it's ready to go to work, but very low hours on that unit. We did replace it ourselves. Good tires all the way around. Frame and underside, a little bit of surface rust as you can see. I'll show you underneath here. So it's not perfect underneath, but a good undercoating could probably go a long way. Uh, 
you can see this section of the frame is not in bad condition. The cap corners and rocker panels on the truck are pretty nice, and underneath the doors are all very nice. Uh, did a little bit of undercoating here, uh, did a little bit of scaling rust, as you can see. So the truck is not perfect, let me just say that. Um, so it did have some rust, it's hard to get it all out, uh, but it does look good, and our guys did a nice job. Tires in good shape. Looks like we replaced some of these back here. Deep tread remaining. Now looking down the side, this is all fresh paint. Did, did our best to uh, sand it down and rebuild what we could. Uh, got our light bar off the back, it's working, and that's what the uh, interior control was. Off the back here, again, we did rebuild this rear bumper. Uh, so that's all nice and solid with new metal. I uh, got a hitch receiver off the back as well. Got an AC unit on top. Again, you got a little bit of surface rust underneath, but nothing too crazy. Got a aluminum step to step up inside the bucket. You got a splice door hanging off the side there. And we'll show you the interior of this thing. Got our AC. Holy smokes, it's cold in here. AC works great. Uh, got an interior light. Obviously, it's going to be your splicing station. Now, some of this splicing equipment, uh, you're going to have to just replace that. It's a little rusty. But it does have a door. We've got our lower controls here. Right now, it's set to upper controls. Uh, plenty of space to move around. Now, I'm six feet tall, so this is probably a 6'6 six, six interior height total. Uh, but it's in great shape inside of here. A little bit of wear present, uh, but plenty of space for storage obviously moving about i can stand up completely straight no hunching over with uh you know four inches six inches to spare so it does have an additional splice door it's got receptacles all the way throughout gfis all that fancy stuff it is ready to go splicing and a heat and AC unit which is a lifesaver especially on a day like today it's really hot uh, that felt really good I don't want to leave there but gotta move on uh, it does have looks like a plug-in heater down there now we didn't test that heater down below so uh, but it's not super hard just to, to buy a new one of those little portable um, plug-in heater if that doesn't work which it might but nice condition inside of there a little bit of wear showing but uh, overall pretty nice all right so robert's up front looking like a unicorn here uh obviously the bucket functioned as it should he's showing us our stove function the truck looks great it really does new paint on the side here now being a 2011 it does have depth and that's what that uh blue cap is so you will have to have depth all the emissions are still intact tires underneath here, drop tires. This is a brand new generator. All the specs are good. I a picture of that. Cat's in nice condition, no major uh, damage rust present on this thing. It shows really nice. Tires are in good shape. Right on the other side does have a little bit of surface rust. It kind of is what it is. But... If you're looking for a truck that works, looking for a truck that uh, you need to splice out of, this is your guy. This is a, a nice truck, turnkey. You can hop in this thing and get right to work. Uh, overall, looks good. Very presentable, very clean. Now it did have a little bit of rust on it when we got it in, but we took care of it the best we could. Six, seven sounds good, it's healthy. Uh, we did a lot of service work to it. Ready to rock and roll. Check this truck out for sale on our website. Our website's lewistrucks.com. It's L-E-W-I-S, trucks with an S.com. 
check this truck out and uh, some others that we have on there, but this thing's turnkey, ready to work. Lewis Motor Company, been around since 1959, third generation now. We like what we do. Hope there are trucks in our videos showcase that. Uh, but ready to work. Give me a call. We'll get this thing sold to you. Thank you guys for watching.